Hello there everybody, Sam Strains here, welcome back to the railway and welcome to the Model Railway News for September. Now I say this every month, but it's always true, this is another bumper edition. I've got some brand new announced products to talk about and also some previously announced products which have made some progress which I also want to talk about. So there's a lot to cover, I really hope you enjoy it, sit back and relax and let's get started. The first bit of news comes from Rapido and they have made an announcement of another new tooled model. So this is the Wispeach and Upwell tram cars which of course will complement Rapido's fantastic J70 locomotives. Now these cars have been announced before as part of the Titfield range, I believe it was the Buffet car was it? But now they're coming out as models in their own right. So in real life there was only two of these cars produced and not only are Rapido producing both of them, as you'd expect, but they've actually announced eight different models which will allow them to cover these models throughout their entire lifespan. So they're doing it and they're doing it properly. So for those of you who've got a J70 and really want the cars to go with it, this is a great opportunity. They've announced a few different liveries including LNER Brown, GER Crimson Lake, BR lined maroon and then of course there's that tip field blue and maroon which I understand appeared in the film and that's why it's a little bit unusual looking but available too. Now these are very very pricey, the RRP for these is £74.95 discounted to £63 at the retailers so it's an awful lot of money but of course you're only going to be buying probably two at most if you want a complete set so it's not too bad, but still a lot of money for a model of this size. Bear in mind, it is Rapido though, so the standards most likely will be high. And also, this is quite an unusual model, not something that you're going to see very often. So, these cars are going to be available individually, as you can see, but there is a second option, because they're also going to be available as part of a train pack with, you guessed it, the J70 locomotive. So that's the even bigger news really, the Rapido J70 is coming back. And actually I think this is going to be your best option if you want the whole set, because these are available for £229.46, which if you deduct the price of the coaches, makes the J70 just £103. So that is actually a lot cheaper than the J70 was available last time. So that's probably the best value option. And of course, don't forget the J70 is an absolutely astonishing locomotive because it has been released before and we know that to be true. So check those out if you like. I'm going to pop some links down in the description. Great to see Rapido making progress. They've also revealed a fully detailed sample of their upcoming 15XX Pannier tank engine. This loco now noticeably includes details that were previously missing from the last few samples, including the steps, the rivets. I mean, don't those rivets just make this model look so much better? And the other separately fitted parts, such as the handrails and much, much more. So again, let's keep an eye on that one. Hopefully that turns out to be an awesome model. The next bit of news comes from the folks at Hornby Magazine, or Key Publishing, and that is to say that the Great Electric Train Show is going ahead pretty soon. It's going to be taking place over the 8th and 9th of October at the Marshall Arena in Milton Keynes. Now there's going to be loads of things to see there, as usual, with these large model railway exhibitions, but among the things to see is going to be the results of the Hornby Magazine 2022 Awards. Voting is currently open for that, and in fact you've just got a few more days to cast your vote. I've popped a link in the description if you'd like to have a go. You can cast your vote on the best retailer, manufacturer, best locos, best rolling stock in all sorts of different gauges. There's loads and loads of categories to look at, including, for the first time ever, Model Railway YouTuber of the Year. And incredibly, Sam's Trains has been nominated. I'm not sure who did that, but I have been nominated, which of course is a massive honour. Obviously, I am not asking anybody to vote for Sam's Trains. All I'm saying is go ahead and vote on whoever and whatever you think is best in each category. And the more people that do vote, the better and more accurate the results will be. And also, it's just quite fun to have your say on which is best in each category. Uh, yeah, it's just a bit of fun. So go ahead and vote if you'd like to. And of course, if you do decide to vote for Sam's Trains in the YouTuber category, then thank you so, so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. The next update comes from Acura Scale to say that the all new children wagons are soon to be in stock. And in fact, I've got a feeling that when this video actually goes out, they will already be in stock, uh, if not very, very soon. 
So these early wagons were built from 1820 and they fill quite a long standing gap in double O gauge rolling stock from this period. And they're available in packs of three for £44.99 each from the retailers. I'm not sure what these models are like yet, but I'm really looking forward to giving them a try. And if you too would like to give them a try, I'll pop some affiliate links in the description for you. Up next, Planet Industrials sent out an email to their customers to say that the factory assembly of their new Victory tank engines is very close to completion and they're expected to be leaving China within the next few weeks, so very exciting news. They also said that every single model is going to be hand checked by their team on arrival in the UK to ensure the quality, the condition and the performance of these models is up to scratch. So sounds like these guys are doing a really good job on making sure this model is decent. They've shared some factory photos of the painted bodies, as you can see here in a few different liveries. They look really, really nice and also a very interesting photo of the assembled chassis, something that I personally would not normally see until a review, so it is quite cool to get a sneak preview of what they are going to look like. So they look awesome, and as far as I know, they're still available to be ordered, so if you want to pick one up, you go to the Light Railway Stores website, um, I'll pop a link down there, why not, and they're available for £130, that's what they start at. So great to see that, hopefully we'll get a review very, very soon. Up next, Dapol are continuing what has become an absolutely legendary year for them by announcing yet another 00 gauge model. This time it is the 14 tonne Air Ministry tank wagons which were previously available from Dapol in O gauge but now they are coming to 00 which is just awesome isn't it? So at the moment there are 10 different models announced in a variety of liveries including silver from many companies, yeah it's quite a classic livery that one, you've got beige and black also from lots of different companies, so right from the start a lot of choice. Now it's not too much to see in terms of details at the moment, although the CAD images here have been revealed which show a decent level of detail and a good number of separately fitted parts. They do seem quite expensive though, especially when you consider how affordable Dapol's stuff usually is. At the retailers, these are available to pre-order for around £29.75. So yeah, best part of 30 quid for a single tanker. On the one hand, yes, that seems quite expensive, but then I'm thinking, this is Dapol, they almost always offer great value. Maybe these models are going to be something really special. It suggests to me that the quality is going to be high, the level of detail is going to be outstanding, and hopefully the liveries will be decent as well. So at the moment, sounds quite expensive, but if Dapol pull out all of the stops, it might just be worth it. Uh, check out links below, affiliate ones, if you are interested. Up next, quite an exciting update from Hornby. Now, since announcing their LMS Turbomotive back in January, we really haven't heard very much about that project at all. Until now, because in fact most of Hornby's latest engine shed blog post was devoted to this new model. Essentially, quite an advanced looking sample has just been revealed. And looking at these photos, it's clear to see that this is more than just a primitive 3D printed sample, which suggests that tooling might already be complete, and obviously that's a major step in the production. Now the images reveal quite a lot about the model. The main thing for me is what looks like a die-cast body, except for the running plate, which is a strange one, because obviously a lot of Hornby models suffer with warped running plates, and also the cab, I guess that's fairly standard though. But still, looks like a lot of metal on board which is great to see and you can also see what looks like a good number of etched and metal details so it looks like it's going to be a real quality model hopefully that's going to be the case the sample supposedly runs well according to the post but it also needs some adjustment in terms of speed but again that's absolutely fine at this stage in fact it's good that Hornby are picking up on this sort of thing so that hopefully when the model finally releases it will run excellently not too fast and with plenty of torque because those are the best models aren't they they say that the next sample will receive much more detail so separately fitted parts and that sort of thing and that should give us a much better idea of what the final product is going to be like with an RRP of £266.49 and a typical retailer price in the region of £240, the expectations for this model are incredibly high, so it's good to see that this is shaping up to be a quality model. Hopefully the final delivered product is quality as well. Please keep those fingers crossed. 
Finally, for this month, and in true model railway manufacturer style, I'm about to announce an announcement. And it's one from me, because the next video on this channel from me is going to be an announcement of my all new 3D printed product. And it is this Gresley's Rocket, which is a fan powered locomotive designed to bemuse, delight, and hopefully entertain you if we're lucky. So stay tuned to the channel if you're interested in this frankly bizarre little model and more details will follow very soon. For now though, thank you so, so much for watching. I wasn't kidding, there's a lot to talk about this month and a lot to look forward to. So again, thank you very much for watching. You take care of yourselves. Go ahead and vote for the Hornby Magazine Awards if you'd like to, and check out the other links in the description if any of these models interest you. I'm gonna stop now though, I'm gonna stop waffling. Have a great month and I'll see you very soon. All right, cheers folks, take care.